Here we're going to be looking at a partnership accounting for a profit distribution here to calculate the profit and how it would be distributed between partners in a partnership. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining several allocation techniques here including the bonus allocation or the distribution of this bonus. So what are we going to be looking at in our example here? So let's move down here and look at it. We're going to have three partners, partner A, partner B, and partner C. And what we're going to be calculating here is the interest on the excess of the capital balance for the partners, we're going to be looking at a bonus calculation, salary distribution here, and then any remaining profit, we're going to look at how that's allocated and distributed between the partners. And then, of course, our total income allocation for each partner. So let's go up and look at what we're going to look at first here on this interest in excess of the capital balance. So what are we talking about here? This interest is allocated based on the capital investment of each partner. And the interest that we're going to, percentage we're going to be using is 6%. And that's going to be on the ending capital balance in excess of $200,000. Now the capital that we're talking about for each partner would be the cash that they have invested plus the assets they have invested. And we're going to only be calculating any interest over their $200,000 uh, capital balance. So let's go look over here at our calculation here. Of course, our interest at 6% on the ending capital balance in excess of $200,000. So let's look at the ending capital balance for each partner here. Partner A has a $160,000 ending capital balance. B, $300,000 uh, balance here. And C has $220,000 capital balance. So let's go and calculate their interest that they would have in excess of $200,000. So A has only $160,000 invested here uh, and, and 200, the difference here, $200,000, gives them a zero amount of interest because they wouldn't have anything in, in excess of $200,000. Now B here has $300,000 less the $200,000 gives them a $100,000 excess amount here times 6%. Uh, equals six thousand dollars worth of interest here on their capital, and C has two hundred twenty thousand uh, less the two hundred thousand dollar excess here at times. Oh, that would be twenty thousand times six percent, or one thousand two hundred dollars. So going up to our distribution here, our interest in excess of the capital balance, partner A would get zero, partner B six thousand, partner C. $1,200 for a total amount here of $7,200. So the next thing we have to look at is the bonus here. And in this case, there's only going to be a bonus allocated to partner C per the uh, partnership agreement in this case, and it's going to be $6,000. So let's go up and look at how we calculate that. Again, partner C gets the bonus equal to 10% of the partnership income after the bonus here. So let's look at how we calculate that. The bonus here for partner C would be equal to 10% times net income minus the bonus here. So this is what we have to calculate here. So uh, again, the bonus here would be 10% times our net income in this, for this case, would be $66,000 here. And then we would be subtracting out our bonus here. So doing our simple algebra or arithmetic here, we'd move this bonus over to the other side of the equation here. 10% times the bonus here gives us a 10% bonus plus the bonus here, which equals 100% or represents 100% of the bonus, equals, in this case, 10% times 66000 or $6,600. So we have a 10% plus 100% here of the bonus. That would equal 110% of the bonus. So you do our simple arithmetic here, the bonus. Uh, the $6,600 divided by 110% gives us a $6,000 bonus here. And that's only allocated to partner C here. So we got the bonus allocated to partner C for $6,000 here. Total amount, $6,000. Next for our salaries here. Well, as for the as it was defined here, partner A is going to get $26,000. Partner B gets zero. They had there was a sign here for the partnership that they would get zero for this year and then partner C would get $24,000. So a total amount here of salaries was $50,000. So we just subtotal all of them for partner A, partner B, partner C and we get a total amount here for our, our um, interest, bonus and salaries of $63,200.
and that's an important number here that we have to use because next we have to calculate the remaining profit here that has to be allocated so in this case our partnership income was sixty six thousand dollars for the year we've allocated sixty three thousand two hundred of those six of that sixty six thousand dollar amount so the difference here would be the remaining profit here we have sixty six thousand less the sixty three thousand two hundred that was allocated gives us twenty eight hundred dollars worth of profit here that has to be allocated or between the partners so let's go over here and look at our arrangement that we have here this remaining profit the balance has to be allocated in this case it was a ratio two to one to one ratio um, a would get two parts here one gets one part essentially and our b gets one part and then c gets one part so that's that's typically the type of ratio you're going to get here, 2 to 1 to 1, or some ratio that has to be specified here in the partnership agreement for each of the partners here. So let's look at how we calculate 2 to 1 to 1. So 2 actually represents, I'm just using here as a representation where it represents 2 parts, and the 1 would be 1 part here, another 1, 1 part. So we got a total of 4 parts here um, of the uh, a remaining profit that has to be allocated. So the remaining profit here was $2,800. I just take $2,800, divide that by four parts or four ways here. Um, that gives us $700 per part here. So um, if A has two of those, then they would get two, two times $700 or $1,400. And then B would get one part here, $700. And then C would get the other part here for $700. Well, we could have calculated that in our head, but I just showed some little arithmetic here to aid us when we get a more complicated figure here. So the remaining profit that we allocated was $2,800 here. So uh, based on uh, taking the uh, previous uh, allocation that we had allocated here, $63,200 plus the $2,800 gives us the $66,000 worth of profit for the total profit here that was uh, for the year here. So we would have that allocated here. Partner A would have got $27,400 or there, uh, that subtotal here of $26,000 plus the remaining profit of $1,400. And then partner B gets the their subtotal of $6,000 plus the remaining profit of $700 for $6,700. And then partner C gets their subtotal here of $31,200 plus $700, and that would give them 31900 So the income allocation here uh, between our partners A, B, and C would add up to $66,000. So you can see here where we take in what we already had allocated here at $63,200. We have to find the difference between the partnership income for the year here of 66000 and that we determined to be $2,800, which we allocated per this profit allocation ratio, 2 to 1 to 1 here. So just in review here, we went over here and we had to uh, allocate our interest here on uh, the investment and that we've done here for both a partner a partner b and partner c and then the other things to point out here in this case uh, just to point out a fact here that not everybody got a bonus it depends on the agreement how the partnership is set up and in this case it was only partner sheets see here and again the same for the salaries not everybody earned a salary here a partner a earned a salary and partner c earned a salary and then we've uh, subtotal all our their interest bonuses and salaries here and came up with a total amount here and then we had to s find out what the difference between the partnership that had to be uh, income that had to be allocated for the year and what our total amount was here to determine the remaining profit that had to be allocated